everybody. At Skating PJ here, delighted to be with Coach Carol Lane. You know what? I had a great question from Gina on Facebook, Carol. Um, She was delighted to be able to see the name of music, but she wanted to know a little bit more about the stories. And I think that since you um, and your students, Piper Gillis and Paul Poirier, have such a great free dance, I wanted you to tell us the music and what the story's about and where they can figure it out as they're watching. Oh, well, the music is called, uh, the beginning is called Stolen Hearts, and then it goes into the theme from Perry Mason, which really dates you, which is an old show about lawyers and detectives. And uh, then the middle part is called uh, Smoky Sax, and then it goes back to Perry Mason at the end. Sax? Sax. Sax. (laughs) (laughs) For sure. So... Basically, the premise is, you know, a blonde walked into my office and I knew I was in trouble because uh, she's committed a crime and she's gone to the detective for help. But she's not really a very nice person when you get right down to it. And so she lures him into helping her and looking for clues to this crime that, you know, she doesn't really know anything about, but people are chasing her to because they think she did it. And then, of course, at the end, she ruthlessly discards him because he has served his purpose. So she's a bit of a femme fatale. She is. The blonde is back and she's looking for trouble. <laughs> <laughs> so Paul Poirier is playing sort of a bit of a... Uh, he He's easily seduced. Would that be the way to sort of portray him? Yes, yes, yes. He He's trying to be cool on the outside, but, you know, inside he's a raging turmoil. <laughs> Um, If people were going to watch highlights in the program, Mm -hmm. um, where is there a turning point? Like, where do we know that she's discarding him? Where do we know that she's asking him for help? Well, at the beginning, she's literally walking into his office and she sits on his knee. And then you you know the game is afoot. And actually, she keeps him on a string all the way to the very, very end. And just when he thinks that he's got her, she throws him away. Do you know what? Um, shame on you, Piper Gillis, that poor Paul Poirier. I know. Feel sorry for him. <laughs> How long did it take you to come up with the concept? Um, actually, when we when we got the music, it, it, it sort of took to- care of itself. Um, what is your favorite moment in the program? Ooh, what do I like? Um, I, well, my co-coach, Yuris Razgalayev, he loves the part where Piper sits on Paul's knee. He said if she could just sit there for the rest of the program, he'd be quite happy <laughs> at the very beginning. Because um, she's a great actress. She is. She is. And she really gets into it and gives it everything. Um, my actual favorite part is in their uh, diagonal step sequence. And she does a little, and it's just a little nothing move where she just kind of almost falls to her knees and he sweeps her around in a circle. And it's just very Maybe. soft and romantic. Oh, I'm sorry. Thanks, Carol. You're welcome.